mistakes. And that's why he's so entertaining to watch in this team. A huge pistol round clutch on the side of Na'Vi and Mouse Sports. They're going to eco this one up. A couple of deagles here and there. A scout on Woxic, imagining he'll take that outside. Let's see if he can find some scalps. I love whatever you like. You even think about how like the image of Na'Vi, at least in my head, has changed. Like I don't know if you guys agree with this, but like you think about like when Zeus was in the squad and stuff. They were like these like pretty. Uh, Pretty, oh, you know, like you didn't want to mess with Na'Vi. Whereas now I just think they're so nice. Like, Ooh. look at this actually. Woxic opening up. I, I wouldn't expect them much of this round. That's why I'm just kind of, you know, not really talking about much. But Electronic at least has got things back under control here. Uh, it's now only just the pistols. So, you know, as I kind of segued away from whatever I was saying, we've kind of returned to the expected outcome here, Hugo. Carrigan with the Deagle. Tiptoeing his way outside and actually is going to delete Boomich. It's the clash of the IGLs in main. Garrigan comes out ahead. Now Perfecto here inside of the A site. This man is quite the anchor over here. Can he continue to give us the goods? Deliver what he's known for. There's the first follow-up. Going to be found by Carrigan. And so this A site now belongs to Mouse Sports. Yeah, I mean, Mouse Sports' Deegs, they're good. I don't need to tell you that. Carrigan, Rops, these are the guys you're going to want to watch out for on the Eco, but it's Chris picking up an M4 and aggressing into the hut for one more. Electronic, a long way from home, and down in the B-bomb site, he is going to have to walk right up the ramp. I mean, this round's done. There's no kit. There's only 20 health. Chris is holding the perfect off angle for this position. And even if Electronic gets this kill, the round is surely going to fall in the favor of Mouse Sports. Keep in mind, that's not even a force by either. Deagles and a scout. Woxic finds the crucial opening kill to the 1M4 of Simple Up in Heaven. And Perfecto, he's able to you know, get a kill from the back of the A site, but immediately traded by Carrigan's double Deegs. Good stuff from the in-game leader of Mouse Sports. They will find their first. See, so yeah, here, obviously, you and I, we got to see a lot of Na'Vi back in EPL and, and RTR. Um, you know, for me, one of the things that really stood out about Nuke was someone like Boomich, just feeling like at times he uh, he would often get caught out in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope that that's oh. something that we see addressed here, because. He was the man to fall there over towards main that allows that whole push to come in. He's already taken a much more passive lie, and I like that from him. He kept being someone who would just rush squeaky door, it felt like. So I'm glad that we've got him playing with that big old brain of his. Frozen's already been removed in this round by Simple, and Mouse Sports now in a four on five. Moxic going to start to creep over towards main, but actually decides against it for the time being. It's electronic in this position. Very simple ended up. He's uh, he's taken that deeg over here towards ramp, and you know with players from out starting to, to tiptoe their way back to lobby, there's always a chance that we see Simple's deagle come to life once again. Yeah, I love watching Tier One CS man because they just don't miss, and it's uh, it's un unlike any anything else. Simple first blood again. A five on four, Mouse Sports looking at the door. They've got Woxic on this lurk. He needs to come in from main at the right time to catch Electronic, looking behind. Oh, the CZ's gonna take him down though, AK gone. And now they filter out through the door. They flood into the site, but the Molly will burn out one. Boomich coming up the vent with the P250, trying to find the right timing. Rops is looking very close, but not considering it. Mouse Sports have gone quiet, and so Na'Vi decides to wait. Simple dropping the bomb, it flies towards him. Oh, with these shots coming through, Boomich will fly up the vent as well. And that was a perfect pinch on the A site for Na'Vi. That's great, man. That's the kind of CS we want to see Boomich play, because everything about there, his role, he's actually under a lot of pressure in that position. Like, it being in the vent, if he dies, they drop vent, they go B. B site's gone, it's a two on two, and any, any chance you had is out the window. But by him just biding his time, waiting on the ladder in that fashion, he's able to come in, pincer as they drop the other player towards the site, and just solidify that second round for Na'Vi, so that was great. Gentlemen, just to interject very briefly, over on the B screen, Complexity currently 8-0 up against Mad Lions. Yeah, uh, Mad Lions, man, that's a that's a huge calamity going on there with uh, you know with a, a Polish player being brought in. You have to remember now that communication is is going to be a big talking point inside of that roster as they move from Danish to international off the back of one player, and that's always kind of 
you know, it's got to be worth its weight in gold. Innocent really has to perform to make that worthwhile. Woxic, hello? Or Frozen, more goodbye. He walks into the scout shot. Woxic follows up. <laughs> he at least makes it worth his while. But boy, you're going to have to do some impressive stuff, Woxic, to win this round now with a man down. Mouse sports are trapped in the yard. This scout is least. Yeah, man. Like that's the thing about Woxic. Like he is. <laughs> it's like it's like you let him off the leash and you don't know where he's gonna go. You know, like you don't know who he's gonna bite. You don't know what he's gonna do. Uh -huh. Look at this. He's looking for a man in main. Gets the tag on a Boomich, and that's Boomich's cue to fall on out. This bombman's rotated all the way back through outside. Gonna rejoin Chris J in the lobby. Looking like they want to try and get in towards this A site. They don't have to commit to A, though. That's like the beauty of this. They certainly might feel obliged to, especially with Woxic still pressuring outside. Perfecto, tucked away. Umich back in the site, tagged up earlier on by the scout, and Chris J's just seen him on the jump peak. There's the kill for Chris. The man who don't miss. Bomb planted, and now a three on three. Yeah, Woxic was covering up, but he's going to go back to the lobby and do a framey on the ramp push. Oh, a bit of damage in the favor of Mouse Sports. They're really going to do this again, are they? They didn't even force Harry, and somehow they're making this one realistic. Perfecto with the one kit in heaven. He at least needs to get out of that position and not leave that kid up there. Sli uh, simple flamey, a killer piece, and blinking you miss it. This round has been retaken from Narvi. Great control. Great patience. I, I, I've liked this re these retakes on the A site so far, right? Na'Vi not rushing. It would be very easy for Perfecto to look for gunfights there, but you know, just waiting on the on his teammates. We saw you know Simple on the ramp lurk in the previous A retake, and then Boomich come up the vent. Oh, you, yeah, okay. You know, it, it looks silly in slow motion, but uh, you know, imagine heat at the moment. He saw an arm come out, took a shot, frozen peaks as well. Unfortunate stuff, but. Still a bomb plant for mouse sports, and that was only an eco. They can buy full. I do just want to emphasize for the viewers at home that wasn't Rop suddenly completely changing his look. That was actually fan cam, a, a, a mouse sports fan desperately holding on for his team. Boomich has got the auto shotgun. I love that. Let's see what he can do with it. Rops out here by the vent. And how's he managed to get down? The nade hits him. They don't realize it. Oh, no. Electronics gone. Oh. Down goes Boomich. He tries to get through the vent. And he just had no idea that Rops had already gotten down. And when Rops gets down, it often gets dirty. It's now a three on five retake at this B site. And wow, Flamey offers himself up now as well. Simple and perfecto left in a two on five. Now, you've got to bear in mind, Simple's still up. He counts for like three men all on his own. So even odds, really, if you think about it like that. But down goes Simple, and now it's just Perfecto left. He's going to try and save over here on the A site. He never even really looked that interested to begin with. Yeah, Simple was already running away, right? And getting peeked off the back of the footsteps. That audio is all Woxic needed to go for the fight. That's going to be another round for Mouse Sports. I like how competitive this is early on, right? Back and forth. The money is up in the air. No one is taking consistent rounds. Navi, Navi are the only ones to manage to sneak uh, streak together too, rather. And I love that vent dive as well. I don't know how the hell Rops gets down unnoticed. 20 health, and he immediately catches Boomage. And at that point, when, when Mouse Sports already have the outside pick from the player main spraying the smoke, and then they kill a rotator B. Navi are in full panic mode. They're in full patch up mode because they realize, oh God, we've not got the B bomb site. We're already in a five on three. We've got to rush down there, you know, and uh, just kind of bucketing water out of the boat. But there's a hole in the bottom. It's sinking, Harry. And uh, Mouse Sports rising to the top, finding a second. Plenty of players surviving too. Oh, Ruffs is going to try do it again. This time, not down oh. the vent, and instead it's a boomage. It's a little bit chaotic. Harrigan comes in for the trade, and this say site gets overrun. Flamey's on a wrap, but he misses his opportunity, and now it becomes a bit of a liability. That there is a free kill for Mouse Sports. Missed oh. Evan Molotov. It falls down the ladder by the tiniest bit. There's a little boost for Simple to go peeking on in. Well, he does hit the second time around, and this is going to be a save for Simple and Perfecto, right? You've gone for the force by. They drop this smoke. That's a nifty little one-way that gives you vision down into the site and obscures you a little bit. Hugo, you throw this one all the time. 
Let's see if Perfecto is able to use it as well as I've seen you manage. Yeah, this is dangerous, though, because, you know, as you mentioned, this is already looking like a save from the get-go with a uh, simple falling out. And so if Perfecto died there, you know, that's going to be a, a gun lost. And Na'Vi really want to keep three intact. I say three. Electronic's only on a CZ. Uh, hopefully he'll position himself to run back into A after the bomb explodes. And maybe there'll be something left uh, behind the CT vent where Boomich died with Rops' AK. Interesting stuff. Like, I like how Rops goes fast out, looks for the pick, takes a risk. Once he dies, you know, Mousebots are hoping he gets a kill so they can burst out hot off the back of it. But, you know, whatever information transpired, whatever happens, uh, he, he dies immediately and Carrington just runs right out of the vent with no fear. So, yeah, the flash may have blinded Rob's making things difficult, but good capitalization from Carrigan and well, Mousebots just take over the A side. One thing that I think is good for Mouse about having the player break is it was like a chance for like a mental reset because it felt like, you know, they were just a team that went from being really good to a sudden decline and it's always hard to dig yourself out of that, right? Um, and, you know, that mental reset can come in a number of ways. Like for some teams, it's changing a player. For others, it's, it's, you know, just having some time away. And I feel like having that month off to kind of, you know, remind themselves who they are and what they've done and what they're capable of can mean a hell of a lot. And then the fact that you've got BMAS just sat on the bench, hungry, ready to play. Guys, I'll replace one of you if you ain't careful. That's a nice little incentive to really step it up as well. What's cool about BMAS quickly is just the fact that, like, you know, we've inside of this team, we've got two 30-year-old players being Carrigan and Chris. And these guys, I'm sure, have had a lot of help in molding Rops into the absolute star that he is. Is coming in, you know, uh, as such a young and inexperienced player uh, to pro CS. And so, well, we've already got evidence that that can happen. So not only is it Carragon and Chris able to help BMAS if needed, but you've got Rops there as well, who's proof in the pudding. He can say, you know, whatever whatever helped motivate him and, and help get him to where he is now, he can offer that same insight to BMAS. So yeah, I think it's an interesting move or addition, and we'll see how it progresses post Cologne. But right now, this is the Mouse Sports 5 that we know and we love, and they're heading into towards the B-bomb site. Yeah, Flamey is wrapping around and Simple dropped another in the meantime. This is in danger of getting out of hand. Rops is lurking in through ramp and he's got to do something huge, but the timing's going to be everything. Electronic now coming in and oh, Rops oh, yeah. has seen him. There's another man in the lobby coming in on rotation. Will Rops be ready for another? That's Perfecto with the AK. And down here at the B bomb site, it's Boomich digging them down, just holding on, not giving anything up. There's seven seconds frozen in time, but he gets oh, it and Perfecto yeah. comes in with the trade. It's close, but Navi snatched that round away. And Hugo, man, just to expand on what you were saying, I think that's something that I love about this Mouse Sports organization. They love trying to bring up like these new talents within the squad. That was how Rops got so good. They basically did the same thing with Frozen. There's BMAS as well. And then even if you think like historically, ages ago, you've got you've got a man like Carrigan was given his first chance initially in like in like an A-list team by this Mouse Sports squad yeah. years back, all the way at the start of his career. And Frankie, we saw your question answered about Na'Vi boot camping. They're all five together. They are all five together, which is great to see. My thing about Mouse Sports, I'm wondering, is in my interview with Frozen, he says, oh, we, we, we got to the top from grinding from the bottom. They were never at the bottom. They came and they exploded. They were always good. And that's why my concern, can they get themselves out of it? But it looks like it's pretty promising from, from watching what we've seen so far. Yeah, this is a good start. Na'Vi winning an eco, though. I mean, add it to the list of low economy rounds in this game that have been won more than not, funnily enough. So let's see if they, uh, well, everyone's got guns now, so who knows? Mouseport's already a man down. Simple's got that AWP out. Heavy A side setup here for Na'Vi. And uh, Mouseport's, they found their way in secret. We're seeing a similar setup to last round. A lob uh, lobby players and secret players. Mouseport's use this to lurk out ramp and Rob's found success there short, shortly before dying to the Deagle. But this time they might go up the vents into the A site with two still sitting towards lobby. It's a big risk considering that setup from Na'Vi. Perfecto here, Electronic nearby. Boomit smoked off and so Perfecto's on an island right now. He's got to hold it, uh, hold his own like we know he can. They almost line up. Good damage. Boomit through the smoke, the mad lab, but only one and Electronic dropped by Rops towards the back of the vent. That's a great hold from Mouse Sports on that A site and uh, the plant coming through. Simple and flamey. Is it another save here for Na'Vi? It might have to be. Yeah, they've been very, very good at dodging Simple, it feels like, right? Like, I don't think we've really had to see him, like, fend off against anyone just yet. And that's where he's in his element. So Mouse Sports just kind of playing, uh, playing dodgeball here with Simple. And it will just be another one of these saves. Now, we've already seen a, uh, a force bite. 
Get past mouse boards. Ooh, Boxing. Don't attempt that jump again, man. Simple is not the guy that you want to give many chances to. Mouse boards get a fourth. They get into that A site, splitting from the vents. Rops with two really nice entries. I'm loving what we're seeing from Boomich right now for Narby. He was someone who, who, as I've kind of already said, in my opinion, became... I don't want to say a liability. That's the wrong word. He is the IGL at the end a of the day. But he became like a little bit, a little bit scary, right? Like uh, you never really knew what you were going to get out of Boomage. And now I, I know what I'm going to get. He's looking great. Also, look at that. Talk oh, about mouse sports, man. That's a rat. I know, sport. but come on. It wouldn't have worked. Rat sports. That's my team. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. You said it, not me. That's Frankie Ward. <laughs> <laughs> Flamey over here at ramp, and he's about to get tested. Let's see what the Flamer can bring to the server. Flashes go in, and Flamey, oh, it's a bit chaotic. Oh, oh no, no, the flash <laughs> has him blind, and Rops is going to get the kill. Now Simple comes in, missed shot with the AWP, and Simple's got to get out of there with the Molotov falling at his feet. Mouse Sports, they actually leave ramp. They pack it up. They pack it in. And they go back to beginnings here, as now they get it themselves over into lobby. Is Frozen going to see Electronic? His arm almost around the corner. Frozen just an inch away from seeing him. And there's the swing. Perfect timing for Electronic. Perfecto still a threat in the A bomb site, and he's dropped the bomb. Bomb in the open, and Fecto's just jiggling. He's just wiggling. They're not giving him a chance. And Navi are going to instantly come in on those rotations. Simple again, up through heaven, not needed in this round at least. It's the event climb for Navi that finds him the A site hold. Man, Electronic, that was so close. And I was wondering if he if he would even hit that timing. Uh, Frozen, he he kind of freezes. He hesitates inside of main, waiting for his team to get ready to run out hut. He didn't want to go in too early. And with that, it's a bit of a problem as Electronic peeks out the perfect point for that kill. Hey, we got some Na'Vi fans. Yeah, lots more Na'Vi fans. Na'Vi fans now stepping up to the plate. Look at this. They love the Na'Vi merchandise, man. They've got it on lock. I love that. Right, simple. Let's see, man. Oh, the, no. the fans are on looking, mate. You've got to try and give us something spectacular here. They get down through these outside smokes. What's it going to be the last man falling in line? And they want to try and get into B. Electronic is already here, posted up with this AK. He's going to have a pretty tall order ahead of him, but Electronic first kill. Oh, and another before he's dealt with by Frozen. Rops in the vent, neck and neck with Boomich. Oh, this is this is an awkward fight. Boomich doesn't know how awkward it is, but it's about to be very awkward indeed. Somehow Boomich has won that. No idea. Back up through the vent. And now it's just Frozen and Woxic with an even split for Na'Vi between either site. It's even odds. Mouse Sports, they've dealt with Flamey, and now they've just got Simple left to worry about. But that's quite the man to worry about. Simple's dropped the bomb. And now it all falls onto Woxic. Yeah, he's got to get close as well. Na'Vi have grouped up with three on the ramp and uh, they are all ready to come in through together as soon as he makes noise. He could duck and dive back to the A site, but oh dear, that's a meaty <laughs> flashbang. He can't see a thing and they would have heard him drop as well. Na'Vi are timing a push. You can see them lining up and they're going to go together. Great six on this CT side. All right, also seeing the fan camps from Mouse Sports has given me an idea. We need more pets on the broadcast. We need more. We need just whatever you got. You got lizards, we want them. You what? got dogs, we want them. You got rats, we want them. We want a bit of everything. Yeah, what's Sick insects? I'll take whatever. What's the Navi, uh, you know, national pet? Would it be a bear? Yeah, I mean, that one might be a bit trickier to like bring on set, right? But yeah, if any of you folks over in the Navi camp have access to one. It's gotta be sure. a cat. It's definitely a cat. Ooh, well, simple cat-like reflexes over here in Garage, helped out by Electronic. And, oh, Ooh. simple again. I tell you what, Mouse Sports, they definitely don't have nine lives. They've got two, actually. It's Rops and it's Chris J, and they're only armed with these Glocks. So this round, it, it might be pretty stale from this point onwards. Let's see if Simple can give us any shots worth getting excited about. Every shot's worth getting excited about when it's Simple, Harry. When Mouse Sports have thrown these outside smokes, they've actually really gotten down unscathed. Na'Vi have yet to you know, get those smoke kills. We saw Carrigan jump. Oh my. We saw Carrigan jump ahead of the smoke uh, last round. Simple, famed for watching atop the smoke and catching players uh, doing exactly that. So he didn't get punished then, but he will punish now. Rops with his deagle as well, doing damage. He sees so many players, but he still doesn't know about the man up close. He'll climb above. Flamey gets the kill instead. 
and it will even grab the AWP too. Chris can't get out the door, and Na'Vi will hold on to that anti-eco round. Very important, considering how these pistol rounds have often uh, gone the way of mouse boards. I mean, both teams have won ecos for sure. Very difficult shot to hit, but simple, like always, makes it look easy. That, uh, that clip, <laughs> I love seeing it like Charlie can simply poke his head back, out. Man. Uh, oh, look, we do have mob heads. We've got a cat on scene now. Don't know how that's going to go down with the audience in the camera below, given that, you know, famously not the best of friends. Bit of Tom and Jerry. We've all seen Tom and Jerry, yeah. Um, uh, Tom and Jerry, that's a cat and mouse. Rats, very clever. Different species. So you're saying if Jerry was a... Uh, wait, yeah, if Jerry, Jerry was, was a rat, a, he would... What, he would I mean, well, kill Tom. I mean, the thing is, Jerry, yeah, Jerry already outsmarts Tom all the time, right? But yeah, you're absolutely right. He would. He'd kill the cat. Give him the bu bubonic no plague. Something like that. That's the fleas. We, we need to well, discuss the animals later, I think. I will be rating the animals, though. That cat, 9 out of 10. Yeah? You think you're qualified to be rating people's pets? Probably. That's a slippery slope, I feel like. But let's see. You know, I'm, I'm down. I like I like lending my ear. I have a You've university us a degree. I'm qualified. Rate. That's true. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's see, electronic. He's over here outside. I don't have the degree, but he's got a license to uh, to kill, and that's what he's possessing here. Trying to hold down this outside area. There's going to be a wall of smokes falling between garage and main. And electronic, not going to try and do something gross with it, but they've already gone past it. Perfecto up on the rafters, only Ooh. good for one. Simple back in the A bomb site. Are they going to finally give Simple a taste of the action? He takes down the first man, and now looking for a little bit more. Down goes Electronic. Walks sick over here in main, and Simple swinging out. There's the peak from Frozen. Simple, oh. another one, and now just Carrigan left. Simple's going to hear him drop down the vents, and now he's in hot pursuit. Carrigan running into this B bomb site, but look at this. Simple tracking him down. The detective on the door and Carrigan just try and swing it wide but simple with the no scope eight for Na'Vi and we finally get the simple showing that mind game the whole time simple's chasing he's knifing the wall he's like that that's so loud as well when you're hearing that as a as a, as a player on the B site and Carrigan's just thinking he's chasing me he's chasing me I can't stick this bomb fakes it tries to push him back and simple just no scopes him up close not ready for that one not in a million years and oh uh, yeah, you can even you can even see it from uh, Electronics POV. Boy, oh boy, that's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> anti maskers up in arms there, but of course, <laughs> <laughs> that is that's great, man. Any more gas masks? You know, just anything cool, anything you want to show off, just put it on camera. You know, I love seeing all the faces, but my word, like some of the stuff we're seeing from Navi and Mouse is raising the bar for the fan cams. Carrigan out into the A site. Tries to uh, tries to go deep and instead goes down. It's now Rops Deegan down Flamey over here outside. That's left a four on four open. Look at Rops go. He's out towards ramp. And well, he knows that Simple is often the man rotating in towards hell. So he's just homed in. But oh. Simple, how on earth is he's like he's like calculated this one? I haven't even seen him yet. But he knows as Simple often does. However, while Rops is keeping his attention fixated at ramp, teammates are falling elsewhere. And this A site now becomes a bit of a problem. Boomich is on a lengthy rotation up through secret, simple up in heaven. What are you going to give us? Oh, a little deeg shot to the face from Woksik. And now Boomich alone has shut out Chris J and just has the deeg king of Woksik left to find. And Woksik's going to nail the shot. So there we go. We have both the AWPers in the server showing up, but one with the deeg, the other with his big green gun. And it's Woksik to come out on top right now. I was supposed to just play pistols because when they buy rifles, they lose. And when they, when they don't even force buy, but half buy, they win. I, I can't believe I talk about Carrigan and, and Rops' eagle and don't even bring up Wox. This guy's a tank and he shows it in the server with four. Oh boy. Simple evil wall banged Rops there on the ramp as we cut away to look at the A site. So he, he got him through the boxes. Of course he did. And now Na'Vi, they've got to win an eco of their own. That is a crucial swing round that not only puts the money in the favor of Mouse Sports breaking Na'Vi's, but can give them the chance to get a really good T side. Not if Perfecto has anything to say about it though. Bomb dropped in the hut. Two more. He's getting spammed from the A site. Rops, that is cheeky. And he's going to find himself the bomb back under the control of Mouse Sports. Nice aggression from Boomich. Chris, look the wrong way for a second, trying to hold on to the ramp player, almost gets caught by the double peak, but Rops is just bailing his team out, left, right, centre, good night, he's gone, no ace, but it's still around for Mouse Sports.
I can't believe, you know, back-to-back -back 4Ks firstly from Mouse Sports, but then look at this from Rock Robs. Look at look at the kill through the, the hut, saving his teammate, getting the bomb back under control. The one man who could have done anything was Perfecto with that AK, and he just gets removed immediately. Oh, look at this. We got a, a T-Rex. That's cool. That's a cool pet. That's probably my favorite one that we've had thus far. Oh, I don't see many of them nowadays. Let's see, though. Chris J. Not going to be the dinosaur of Maus over here at the A site. Simple's gone aggressive at ramp and is actually pushed on in. Now, clears that close left side. Now just knows he can home in on the right. Rops is the man ready to go against him. I like this. This feels like a real clash of the titans here between Rops and Simple. Simple's going to fall on back and... Ops has heard a couple of footsteps there, so now aware that this uh, this player at ramp might have taken a more passive line. Now, it's important to note that, that Flamey's often been the man over here towards ramp side, so Simple could be, uh, you know, like a bit of an unknown quantity, and this gives him the option to drop down into B, and that's exactly what he's done here and now. He's going to be holding down lower, even with the option to rotate through secret and help out nice and quickly, maybe even deal with the outside players. That's if he's needed, though, and right now it doesn't feel like it. Carrigan and Rops doing what they can, and actually, Frozen's come in with another. So now Bomb planted into this two-on-two. -two. Simple. The man who was on B, ready to come up through the vents, and Flamey's just cleared him a path. It all falls onto Carrigan. 1B2, but this man is pretty good in the clutch. Oh dear, he's got Flamey in the back. Does he know about Simple? The footsteps come through. Carrigan tries to bait the shot. Simple oh, went oh. for it. Oh, it's a game of chicken. Oh. And Carrigan goes wide. The missed shot from Sim. That's a nice little aesthetic, boys. I love it. Well, let's see what aesthetic they bring into this T side. We've already got uh, a, a winner, the half a Na'Vi, but we know how good they can be on the T side of Nuke. Considering a CT side of map, it's easier said than done. But for simple, it's easier done than said. He's going to move outside with that P250. Boxing with a kit smoke up in heaven. Trying to tap back. The molly just missing by an inch. He stands right behind the fire. But does he know the Na'Vi are right in front of him? Boomish is very quick to get in this position. It's already 125 and he's in heaven. So mouse sports don't know just yet. But the longer that goes on, the more they assume. However, Na'Vi needs to wait. Or Boomish needs to wait on the rest of Na'Vi to get into position to set up for this A take. Still, Flamey left in the lobby. Woxing might look lower, but the shadow, oh, I think he should have seen it yet. Now he's prepared, now he's ready for Boomich close on the rafters. But Boomich, if he peeks on top of this yellow rail, that could offset Woxing's crosshair. We'll have to see how this fight goes. And that's if Woxing even waits. Oh no. Woxing tries to take the peek. The thing that's even more disastrous is he's the man with the kit. That's now dropped up in heaven. That is an awful place to have your kit get lost. And, you know, that's Ooh. like assuming the bomb plant even plays into this round, which right now it might not even. Flamey on two, looking for the triple, and Carrigan's just dancing around, trying to dodge Flamey, but you can't put this fire out. It's going to be a night for Na'Vi as the pistol round goes their way. This already sets us up for a great T side here, right? Uh, Flamey kills three A players, and then Na'Vi go B. Like, <laughs> oh dear, they're already playing with their food. They're already in the heads of Mouse Sports. Uh, we always talk about, like, misdirection on Nuke. Mouse Sports did a little... Uh, did it a little bit as well in the first half, right? Like dropping B uh, and coming up the vents, etc. Um, so th that's a pretty standard way to go about it. Na'Vi doing the inverse, taking A and dropping B. It's going to work wonders. 9-7 here. And the scout out for Woxic. We saw him win a lot of force buys here for Mouse Sports, or even Ecos with this gun. Carrigan is burning to a crisp for 100-0. to zero. He thinks he's found safety on top of the hut. It is far from that. That's not the way you want to start here if you're Mouse Sports. Boomish has even dropped through the vents after that kill and cleaned out lower. Avi, they haven't taken the site yet. Their last man in defense is Rops. He is in a, a very rough spot. Rops, what can he do from this position? Ooh. Down goes Electronic, but everywhere else. Oh, okay. another. Rops, ooh, that was almost the third. Chris Jay's taken it away, but Rops has done a great job, and he's looking for oh. even more. Rops, what is this with the Deagle? He has completely demolished Na'Vi. Simple, now in the 1v4, and he's gonna require something even more special if he wants to pick this round up for Na'Vi. Down goes Rops, so Simple has dethroned the current king, and now he's gotta show why he is CS royalty indeed. 
Smoke gonna get dropped to facilitate the cross. Baiting shots from Woxic. Simple gets by. There's a man up on the rafters. Simple takes the fight to Woxic, but Woxic finds him. And that's an eighth round for Maus as they steal it away. Yeah, even if Simple got that next kill, there was a player right above him. So great shots well, from Rob. Great camera angle, man. <laughs> like, I like Rob's like sees the world, you know, like because he's always in, in in like places like Pop Dog on train, right? He's always peeking over the top of things. So it's natural that that's the angle we get of him. That's the kind of angle that the enemies get. Oh, well, we did want to see more pets in the fan cams and Rob's. He's a bit of an animal with that deagle. Mouse Sports have just been banging on these ecos, and now Navi have to win one of their own. I've said that a thousand times, and I'm I'm going to continue to say it because it's all we're seeing. Simple with the scout tagged outside as Woxic falls off with his. Our sports are very well armed in this round. Frozen's taken that AK-47. Robs is solo on the ramp, as is tradition. Flamey getting the door shut and moving away. He is holding lobby on his own. This is pretty standard. Exactly how Navi played the pistol as well. With one lurk inside, the rest of them in the yard. Woxic holding a very passive line, but this allows Navi to get inside of main and be a bit of a nuisance if they want. They're going closer. They're going further. And with this double scope, this could be a real problem for Woxic. He's about to get sidelined. Oh no, the Tech-9. It's garbage at the best of times, but Electronic gets one. Trade is in. They know about the second. Rops deals with him as he peels away from the ramp room. That gives room for Flamey to take it. But what can you even do with it at this point? The bomb not under the hands of Na'Vi and Rops is going more and more aggressive by the second. Ooh, there's the kill from Flamey, but it might all be too little and too late. I'd hate to be Rops there. It's like, guys, they are everywhere. Hello? Like, <laughs> <laughs> they're in ramp, they're outside. Like, where is everyone watching? And here we go, simple and Flamey now in this two on three. It's not gonna be easy, but that's not to say it's impossible. Yeah, I see Flamey, I see Simple, and I believe. So let's see what they're able to get up to. It's 25 seconds left on the clock. Time is a bit of a problem. They go back for this bomb that was all the way over here outside, and they've been very, very sneaky. But in doing so, they've been very, very slow. Frozen is really the man who can make all the difference here. He's the lone defender at A. If he gets one and dies, even that gives Na'Vi a chance. So really, we need both. And there's the first Flamey tagging him up. But Frozen's bought enough time oh. for Chris J to come in on the rotate. So he plays that perfectly. Mouse Sports get nine. And now it is just that eco for Na'Vi. I love how passive he plays there as well. Even maybe to do with the fact that the time is down to 10 seconds. He's just trying to live as long as he can. And he tanks a couple of shots in through the vent, down to seven health doesn't matter his teammates bail him out and mouse sports they're going to keep up appearances here on this ct side this is turning into such an exciting game as we kind of expected as we hoped but this round will be a bit of a, a different one it's just glocks for navi you did see kusta yesterday on an eco like this in this map go outside and Get an, uh, an Eco A starting with a Glock 2K, but I don't think Na'Vi are going to be as fortunate, especially not with his AWP on Woxic, finding first blood and looking for a little bit more. Now it's Na'Vi's turn to bait some shots out, but they're going to be unsuccessful. Frozen swings out wide, great spray, and even gets a third as well, locking down the anti-Eco, taking double digits and the lead with it. Rops is just really delivering right now, and I'm very, very happy about that. You know, uh, you look over at Na'Vi, and I think the moment we're all waiting for is this moment, which is, you know, they get the rifles out, they've got everything they need, and now we get to see what, you know, the kind of perfect little duo of Simple and Electronic have up their sleeve here. Moving into the T-Half play. Going to be a bit of an outside presence here for Na'Vi. Rops is looking to test the waters with some ramp pressure. The flash goes in and Flamey's blind. That spam kind of gives up the aim of the game and he knows that that flash has worked. Rops opening this round up with a kill. And this is huge for Maus. They've got lobby control. Like they know that Na'Vi are going outside because they physically cannot be anywhere else. And so this kind of shoehorns Na'Vi. They're now faced with two decisions. Do they go back and retake lobby? Or do they just commit to outside knowing that all that information has gone in favor of Maus? As a result, Maus Sports, they've fallen very, very passively back into A and with two players down on B. They are poised. They are ready for whatever comes their way. And as long as they trade evenly here at the B bomb site, they should be able to hold on. That smoke goes down and it sends Na'Vi packing. That's a little bit upsetting for the Na'Vi squad.
Mouse sports are looking fresh, man. They're looking ready to frag because you know that was a that was a nice little take. Even if Rops dies there, or if there are more Navi players in the lobby, right after he gets that kill, Carrigan and Chris also flash in through the hut. So it was a two pronged attack into the lobby, and all the info in the hands of Mouse sports. Boomich though doubling down. Knowledge is power, but power is also power. He's going to take down two in secret, forcing heavy ramp rotations towards B. Woxic didn't see simple on this lurk. He's going to be calling for his team to get the hell out of here. There's a heavy B setup right now with only Carrigan remaining on that top site by the squeaky door. Simple might be able to get rid of this position as well if he times this flank to perfection. Coming up the ladder, 15 seconds. Carrigan might have to go for a heroic smoke push here if he wants to stop the plant. It's worth the risk, but Electronic is waiting. Great cover for his teammate. Boomich planting for Simple in upper, and now Woxic and Rops a long way from home, rotating in from the ramp room, have to retake a two on three. Yeah, I remember a certain Woxic and Rops clip, though, here at the A-bomb site, yeah. though. So let's see, right? I always have some kind of faith on these guys when they're in this... Man down situation. Let's see. Woxic arm with only an MP9. He's traded out. And he's looking to get stuck in. Now simple up on the raft, which represents a bit of a problem. Woxic does come in and help his teammate out. Follows up onto Boomich as well. Trades onto the AK. Electronic over in main. Ooh. Woxic not able to cross into the site. So Na'Vi, 10 on the board. It comes down to a 1v1 from a three on two. And he still get it over the line. That round is all electronic, right? Carrigan, he knew that as much as he didn't want to go through that smoke, he could win the round if no one was watching it. If he has a chance, he should take it. And even though electronic covers stopping him, as well as that, the bomb's planted for heaven. Simple's fighting from rafters. He gets traded, and then electronic has to stop the cross to the site. If he lets that player get behind the silos, he can just stick the bomb. Woxic can win the round off of the defuse. So important couple of kills there for Electronic. And now it's going to be Na'Vi bouncing back with a T-sided round. Al Sports' uh, little three-round streak is short-lived. But there is a big difference in the fact that they took control of the economy to start the CT side. Uh, if you compare that to, you know, Na'Vi's back and forth four spies in the first half, sometimes going their way, sometimes not. And well, the difference here, Mouse Sports, they win three gun rounds in a row, and now they have a double orb even after they lost the last. So they are well armed and dangerous, but this is going to be their money bottoming out if they don't win this round. That's the case for either team. So a lot of pressure in round number 21 as the smokes land outside. The, 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 the decision that Mouse Sports have made here is something where it looks like they're trying to have like a read as to what's going to happen in this round. They immediately drop Chris J through vents. They have Frozen leave main entirely and take up a position over here in Garage. And so already they're kind of like leaning more towards this B site. And Na'Vi, it's not looking like a B play. What's oh, no. It? Oh, oh, goodness, no, he's so blind. missed and he didn't even realize because he's blind as a bat. Frozen does open with one. Simple. Dealing with Carrigan in the meantime, and Chris J up through the vent. This is actually a very nice collapse back into the A site from Maus, but is it going to be enough? Flamey dealing with Woxic, oh, no. Rops missing the shot, and that leaves it all on Chris. 1v2, bomb dropped over here right in his eye line. Flamey and Electronic left to overcome. There's certainly a chance for Chris J, but that's all it is. Does have this bomb with only 10 seconds left. Navi are under pressure to retrieve it. Chris J trying to play the timing, trying to waste as much time as he can off that clock. And he knows now that this bomb has to go down. It's going to get planted just in the nick of time. He's dealt with Flamey and now Electronic in the 1v1. Chris J ring around the roses and Electronic wasting time. But there's no fighting Chris J as he deals with the 1v2 and picks up the round for Mouse. And that's why Chris J is on this team. The experience showing through, man. Like, you could see he, how he was calculating that. He didn't want to take the fight. He knew that time was in his favor, and Na'Vi desperately wanted the kill. They realized he wouldn't give it to him. They crossed to the site for the plant. Chris flashes out, takes a kill, and wins the one-on-one -on -one as well. Great work from him. Just the fact that he stays alive instead of door, inside of door, rather, instead of going for those fights on A. Give him Na'Vi a bit of money thanks to the bomb plant and they'll be keen to invest around it. But Mal Sports again, taking back the lead. Only just though, remember they bought into a double AWP, they only get to save one, but it's not the end of the world. Nuke, not really a requirement to see those two orbs. It does free up, obviously, you know, someone to just sit back and relax at ramp and hold that long sight line where you have another in the garage or a deep CT as Woxic often plays. <laughs> I love this camera angle. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, oh, man, I love it. Robin just staying cool, dude. Yeah. 
Uh, sweaty stuff for Na'Vi, but smiles all around. They're still feeling confident here. Another force buy, and boy, this is a big risk as well. They've got, you know, I, I saw them buy up a hero AK on Simple. I didn't know they would fully invest around it, but hey, what have Na'Vi got to show for us? Lots of grenades, looking like an upper take. Uh, let's see if this goes well for them. Yeah, Mausik more than ready for it. This uh, hot molly can force Chris J out of position. Indeed, it's going to have Ooh. to. He's getting burnt in it. He will perish in the flames, but he does get one before that. And Carrigan up here on the rafters makes quick work of that hero AK on simple. It never even gets to fire a shot. So it's a very, very clean round for Mouse Sports. Three for Carrigan. Everyone else chiming in. And now there's no money for Na'Vi. That, that kind of coming as a consequence of the decision to go for the hero AK force buy in that round there. Yeah, leaves them with deagles, leaves them with the chances. We know how these rounds have gone, but yeah, Mouseports' A hold has been really nice. We we liked Navi's on the CT side with that vent collapse and a lot of you know A retakes. Or well, Mouseports have, have won up that to a, a strong degree as well. So it's been really nice to see them, you know, on this A bomb site. 12-10, the eco for Navi. Chance for Mouseports to get that one step closer to taking their map pick in this series. Um, what a victory this would be as well, considering we know Na'Vi's history on this map, how much success they've had. Tournaments like this, simple, that's a great shot. Saving his teammate's life uh, as Chris gets aggressive through the squeaky door. It's a, at least an SMG given over, but it's not the end of the world. We know Chris to take the hit when it comes to the low weapons and give his teammates the rifles. True team player in that sense. Right now, Mouseports just need to sit back, relax, and wait for the T's to come to them. Oh, oh, that's just about keeping things in check at ramp. And now Na'Vi, just simple and boomage in a 2 one 4 Not the ideal, uh, well, now just simple in the 1v4. But, <laughs> he deletes Carrigan. There's the trade from Frozen, and it's kept under control. Mouse Sports reach 13. And now we have a buy round coming for Na'Vi, but it could be one of the final buy rounds they're going to have here on Nuke, unless they write their wrongs pretty damn quickly. Yeah, only two rounds on this T side. That's the crazy thing, right? They win the pistol, a really nice pistol. Mouseports upset with a force and a streak of three. Navi have to rely on a clutch to get their first rifle round. And since that point, it's been all Mouseports. Will the tide change? Navi, they're infatuated with A right now. More utility going in early. If they go for a set piece A in the first 20 seconds of the round, Mouseports have been so good at locking this down time after time. They triple set A pretty much every single round. And so that's a big risk if Na'Vi want to take it rather than, you know, go for this classic delu uh, illusion rather and take outside, get a wrap in, try and take secret, even come back up to A after that, something Mouseports were doing commonly. And so Na'Vi, yeah, they're going to go for the smokes. Far more standard stuff, far more successful, can get them into positions, uh, you know, down in B, force rotates away from A, regardless of the site that they end up at. Right now, it does still look like an A take, given the lobby control. And yeah, Electronic, he's not playing behind the smokes. He, he's actually creeping close towards main. It's deep smokes, which allows him to get, get into the garage. Woxic is watching this from CT. Rops his second orb, firing off pot shots as well. Na'Vi trying to take ramp, and they're walking into a double setup. Yeah, Rops just gets out of there. He gets that one kill and rotates away. Now, ramp is taken by Na'Vi, but Flamey getting out through Squeaky Door could throw a bit of a spanner in the works. It's only a tag from Woxic. Frozen wants to trade, but Flamey's not in the business of giving that up. Chris J will hold on to the A site, and he's dropped the bomb. Boomich is waiting for the rotation back up ramp from Rops, and Electronic is also here as well. Now, this is all well and good, but they have to get into the A bomb site. They're going to try and split it from Heaven and Hut, and for Chris J, he just has to hope he picks the right spot at the right time. He's just looked away, but oh. he goes back to heaven. And that might make all the difference. Boomich with the bomb, but only five seconds. He deals with the first, and there's Rops with the trade. Mouse Sports, 14 to their name. All right, you highlighted Rops as your player to watch. And boy, did you hit the nail on the head. This guy is absolutely on another level right now. Locking down ramp, the rotate back into A to win the one-on-one. -on -one. And Chris has been holding his own in every important round as well. Look at this double kill. Despite Flamey's best efforts at getting entries out onto A, Na'Vi, they may have forced a lot of players away from that top site, but it's not going to matter. Al Sports on the edge of victory, 14 to 10. And 
Navi's money kaput. No bomb plant either. That's not the spot they want to be in. They're relying on loss bonus. They might even have to, you know, play for OT here potentially. Although if I know Navi at all, I wouldn't be surprised if they fully force in and throw caution to the wind. Even they are still making that decision, it seems. Nothing coming through, just a smoke. Expecting some pistols here. They have the loss for it. And yeah, that's it. Pistols, a bit of utility. It's actually a decent buy for Na'Vi. They've got a, a good amount of utility to get those outside smokes in if they do so, please. Ooh. I want to attempt that again, Electronic. <laughs> he might as well. Waxic over here outside. I haven't really seen, uh, you know, Waxic having to do much with this AWP either outside. Like, a lot of the time, whenever they have taken it, it's just been with the smokes, right? And that's, that's pretty, like, bread and butter. It feels like the AWP has to play into the mid-round as opposed to out of the gate. And Moxic's just going to keep holding down this outside area. Now, something that's important to note here is that Rops is no longer at ramp. And in fact, not just is he no longer at ramp, no one's at ramp. They're stacked heavily towards outside and A. And this could be the perfect read for Mouse Sports in this round. Perfecto will deal with Carrigan and follows up with the Tech 9, but the rotations are already oh. in. It's another for Perfecto, but that's not enough. It looks like simple. Left in a 1v2, 10 points of health. He knows that both players are on A, and so he is barreling into this B bomb site. He's going to be able to get the bomb down, and that's at least a bit of extra money. But to actually win this, the odds so stacked against him, Woxic. Almost giving up the end of the game at Rab. Oh, That's oh. when Rob swings wide and deals with Simple. 32 kills in this game and securing a 15th for Maus in the process. Just the collapse on A, man. Like wave after wave of Maus Sports players pushing in through that main smoke, trying to deal with a fast rush. Chris buys an SMG, which is the perfect weapon for Na'Vi's buy, considering the lack of ar head armor. Uh, but he only gets one kill from it. Nice tech nine shots from Perfecto, finding three. But unfortunately, it is not enough. And you can see how aware Simple is as soon as he gets that bomb plant even though Rops opens the door putting a lot of pressure on Simple knows he's not going to get immediately swung and so he turns around and almost hits Wox's uh, head coming from the ramp he's so ready for the fact that Mouseboards are going to try and double face him but unfortunately for him it does not go his way 15 to 10 and this is it this is do or die for Na'Vi it's been so long since they found rounds on this T side it's now or never Electronic survives the journey, but uh, actually doesn't. It's, uh, you know, it's it's the old fable. He gets by the first set of danger only to find himself, you know, out of the frying pan and into the fire that is secret. So now a four on five for Na'Vi. Backs against the wall and one away from having Nuke elude them. Ooh. Simple. Oh my. Simple. Frozen's like just about <laughs> ducked beneath the danger. Ooh, that would have been spicy. We've seen Simple hit those, even with a scout. But not today, not in this lifetime. And right now, the lifeline for Na'Vi might be on a very thin rope indeed. Now Sports tugging at the strings. Not a single point of damage received. A 5 on 4 up. Na'Vi again putting pressure on the squeaky door. But Mouse Sports have had no issue with dealing with these upper takes. Frozen's going to get mollied out, but no one peeks. Flamey is late to the angle after throwing that Molotov. And so uh, Frozen just swings out wide. They even smoke it. That is illusion at best. Flamey now thinks there's still a player behind the vent. And it couldn't be further from the truth. Chris J up on top of the hut. He's been so key in these last few rounds. But this one, he's going to solidify. Oh. He takes the win. 